a dynamic city ideally located for economic growth and prosperity is ready to move forward with a new rapid transit system. The people of Hamilton have been consulted and they are ready. Enthusiasm for proposed transit system is gaining momentum. City pressing forward on light rail transit. Time to think outside of the bus. Public transit must be as convenient as the car in order to replace the car. Well, there are enormous benefits. Uh, you know, what, one of the great benefits is that we can connect our city better. And uh, from Stony Creek to McMaster, to the, uh, from the airport to downtown to our waterfront, if we can make speedy, quick connections, that makes all of those areas more accessible for all of the residents in our city. And then secondly, there's the, uh, the actual economic development that happens around the corridor itself, where we get new businesses and new enterprises that come because of the light rail corridor where, exi where it exists. So very, very positive impacts in terms of assessment growth. And lastly, it's the most environmentally friendly way to move people through our city. Uh, better air and cleaner air for our community through light rail is better for the whole city. Hamilton has a long, rich history of public transportation. The Hamilton Street Railway opened May 15, 1874, with service on the routes of Stewart Street West to James Street. As the population grew, horse-drawn carts were replaced with electric streetcars that were then replaced with trolley buses. And with the growing expansion on the mountain, the city built an incline railway opening on August 26, 1895. It was a two-car tandem track that ran 244 meters long. In April 1914, the Incline Railway was converted from steam to electric operations. The City of Hamilton is committed to reducing greenhouse emissions and to greening its HSR fleet. The City has added new eco-friendly buses to the Hamilton Street Railway fleet including diesel electric hybrid buses, hybrid articulated buses, and lower emission diesel buses. With partial funding from Metrolinx, Hamilton recently added bicycle racks to all of its buses to further enhance its sustainable transportation system. Hamilton, with a population of more than 500,000, has the third busiest port in the Great Lakes and the number one cargo and courier airport in Canada. Now is the time for Hamilton to move forward with a new rapid transit system. One hundred and eighty thousand auto driver trips per day will need to be accommodated on Hamilton's road network by the year 2031. The infrastructure will not be able to handle this congestion, so Hamilton is planning now for the challenges and opportunities associated with its growth. The reduction of greenhouse gas emissions will improve the air Hamiltonians breathe, contributing to a healthier, more sustainable community. Any project or any program that increases public transit in this city is going to be good for the environment. You have car emissions and truck emissions, uh, diesel em emissions, and as, as well as we're trying to keep our cars up to standards, if you get a whole bunch of them in one area, it is not a good thing. If you take a look around Gore Park, for instance, you can hear the traffic in the background. If we can get the noise pollution down, the air quality to, to improve, that would be done through more transit, better transit, uh, so that would encourage people to use transit. We need to change people's traveling patterns and we can't do it unless we make things convenient for them and make it uh, less of a hassle to come downtown, pay for your parking and walk in the rain. This way if you're taking transit you can get to your place to work and all the other necessities that you need to get to and if we have transit in the area that's going to allow people to do that with as minimal fuss as possible, then it's a good thing. Rapid transit as an efficient, environmentally sustainable mode of transportation will provide an alternative to the car, reducing the number of vehicles on the roads.
Positive financial implications will result from the implementation of a rapid transit system in Hamilton. New developments, redevelopments, and assessment growth alongside increased tourism are potential benefits to rapid transit. The City of Hamilton has conducted a two-part study of public consultations, online surveys and community outreach to discuss rapid transit. I think it will uh, benefit students, being a Mac student myself, um, to have this light rail system in Hamilton because now you'll know that you can get from one end of the city to the other a lot faster so it'll encourage people to get to the downtown and explore the rest of Hamilton as well and you'll know that it's going to take only maybe 15 minutes whereas a bus may take a lot longer and I think there's more of an appeal to a light rail system as well. Um, I don't know why people have kind of a stigma attached to the bus but I think it'll be a lot more attractive for people to try and start using transit if we have the light rail system here. Well, let us get at it. What are, they, what are they sitting on their hands for? If it would make things quicker, yes, definitely. Because I live up the mountain and I'm always coming downtown. So definitely, if it was to make things quicker, yes, definitely. I go to high school every day, but I think a train would be much more faster to get there. I would definitely ride the train, and I think it would be a great place to get to faster and it just be easier to get to places. Well, I think the idea of having a rail train would be a, a great idea. Um, I'm a school teacher, so I try to use it as much as I can. Um, but, you know, just uh, getting up and down the mountain and across, sometimes a little more difficult just for time restraints and stuff. Um, but try to keep the uh, truck parked at home and try to use the bus as much as possible. Uh, I think it's good for, for nature. It helps. And I think it would, it would be faster and help people that are a little bit late sometimes. I think it's absolutely brilliant. I think the city definitely needs such a thing. An overwhelming 95% of survey responses favored rapid transit. Of 1,600 respondents, 70% prefer light rail only. 18% support either light rail transit or bus rapid transit. 3% prefer bus rapid transit only. 9% don't support either. 71% of respondents cite environmental impact as a reason for supporting rapid transit. 67% cite potential to attract new ridership. 58% cite potential economic benefit and 51% cite sustainability as a reason for supporting rapid transit. Rapid transit is about more than just moving people from place to place. It is about providing a range of high quality, sustainable transportation options for citizens, connecting key destination points, economic development, environmental sustainability, and revitalizing Hamilton. So the next steps for a rapid transit uh, plan for Hamilton is to complete the public engagement. We've been out at lots of public information sessions, we're meeting with the public, what do they want to see in our plan? And then we, we're going to incorporate all those comments in so that we get the vast majority are incorporated into the plan. So it's a very positive uh, feedback we've been receiving so far. And so when we take that forward, it's a robust plan that's just full of excitement. And that's what this project has been. And then from that, we take it to City Council and Council will make some decisions on next steps and of course that next steps include our provincial partners through Metrolinx. Uh, it's the funding, it's a big part of the funding source to make this project a reality. Hamilton is moving forward. Rapid transit is our future. Have your say in moving Hamilton forward. Visit www.hamilton.ca slash rapid-transit. <laughs>